Hello, and welcome to this video session from MuleSoft. Today we will look at some of the integration use cases implemented at UCSF using MuleSoft. To introduce UCSF quickly, UCSF is a large hospital and medical learning facility headquartered in San Francisco. They are a joint Salesforce and MuleSoft customer, and let's see some of the ways UCSF is using Salesforce and MuleSoft. In this demo, we are going to showcase a few use cases already implemented and live at UCSF using MuleSoft and Salesforce. And our focus area is going to be on real-time collaboration across the entire care team, providing that single view of the care team communication and unlocking that data from the EMR, which makes this real-time collaboration and single view possible. These are just one of the several use cases that have been implemented at UCSF. Let's look at the overall architecture for a few use cases related to the UCSF Salesforce integration. Use case one. The first use case is capturing patient admit, discharge, and transfer, or ADT messages from electronic medical record system, in this case, EPIC, and creating or updating patient and their related information in Salesforce. These messages are in HL7 format, which is a pipe delimited for format and one which is pretty predominant in the healthcare industry for information interchange. This real-time integration ensures that patient records are kept in sync between EPIC, the EMR, and Salesforce, the care coordination system. The second use case is about getting the list of users from EPIC and updating corresponding users in Salesforce based on their status of active or inactive, which actually dictates their access to Salesforce. This is triggered when Epic from Epic when users are activated or inactivated in Epic. This real-time integration messaging ensures that as access levels of users are changed in Epic, that is reflected accurately and in real time in their Salesforce access levels as well. The third use case is getting a list of LDAP accounts from the LDAP system and creating or updating contacts in Salesforce so that those contacts are available to be assigned to patients for care. This is triggered when a new LDAP account is created in the LDAP system. This real-time messaging ensures that when doctors, nurses, or caregivers are provisioned in LDAP, their contact records are available in Salesforce for care coordination with the appropriate access levels and hierarchies. The fourth use case is capturing events from Salesforce and invoking the paging gateway for appropriate notifications to doctors, nurses, and caregivers. This is triggered from MuleSoft by polling the Salesforce care coordination instance for specific events. This batch polling integration ensures that whenever such events occur in Salesforce, they are captured and the appropriate action is triggered in the paging gateway so that the messages can be paged to the corresponding contacts. Here are the four use cases which are listed with the type of pattern they are using and the components from MuleSoft's AnyPoint platform that have been used to create some of these integrations. Here is a summary of the key AnyPoint platform features that have made this integration possible, robust, and scalable. HL7 connectors, handlers, and transformers are available as part of the Mule platform, which help in handling some of those complex messages. The HL7 transformations are made possible by providing direct support of HL7 transformation within the data weave, which is the transformation platform within Mule. And it's also capable of handling various types of ADT-based messages and message types for event-based and message-based routing. This support for HL7 within data weaves provides an easy way to convert the complex HL7 pipe delimited format into easy to consume formats like JSON, XML, and any other formats through a very easy to use drag and drop interface provided by data weave. Various types of queuing and message handling techniques can be used to handle high volume HL7 transactions, along with caching and guaranteed delivery. Robust error handling is also part of the Mule platform, which helps in del guaranteed delivery and never losing a message. MuleSoft is an enterprise-grade platform with robust 
high availability and disaster recovery features. And in terms of security, it's high trust SSA and PCI compliance certified. Now let's look at use case one in further detail and let's see how MuleSoft has been used to achieve that integration. For that, what you see on the screen is MuleSoft's AnyPoint Studio, which is the primary tool for designing and creating the integration processes and contains all the components necessary to handle the HL7 messages and the connectivities to uh, accept HL7 messages and also to Salesforce and also the transformation logic which converts these HL7 messages to message which is appropriate for consumption by the Salesforce care coordination instance. To begin with, MuleSoft provides a number of connectors to handle HL7 messages which are widely adopted for inter-process communication in the healthcare industry. This integration application uses the HL7 MLLP connector to listen for HL7 messages on a port and usually EPIC bridges interfaces will be configured to send the ADT messages to this port. Once the message arrives, the mule flow accepts the message and sends the acknowledgement back to the bridges interfaces using the HL7 acknowledgement connector. This is important for two reasons. To mark the end of the messages so that Epic can send more messages that may be sitting in its queue. And the second is to make the entire process asynchronous so that, the, so that multiple messages can be processed in parallel. The message is then passed through an HL7 transformer, which converts the pipe delimited message into an XML so that it can be easily mapped to other formats. Once converted to XML, you can use Mule expression language to identify the type of message, the type of event and other elements in the message to perform business logic on the message like content based routing, etc. Once the distinction between admit, transfer and discharge is determined by the flow, you can use data weave the transformation engine in mule to transform the message to any format as is needed by the destination system since the destination system is salesforce in this case we use the salesforce connector to provide the connectivity to the salesforce care coordination system the data wave engine is then used to transform the message into the salesforce object format and the appropriate action is invoked on the Salesforce connector. Insert, upsert, create, etc. To invoke that action within the Salesforce instance. This integration can be run on the cloud, on-prem or in hybrid deployment scenarios. Error handling and logic can be inserted into the flow by one of the many error handling strategies provided by the AnyPoint platform. Based on the need of the process, a message is never lost due to error or strategies like retry, notification, etc. can be embedded into the error handling strategy at the flow level. With that, we covered the high level use cases that have been implemented at UCSF for integrating the EMR Epic with Salesforce. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.